and welcome back to our hard CA rotation. A moment ago we kicked off our final Bosch deploy after having done the manual bootstrap procedures to all three of our MySQL VMs. Now when we kick off this last deploy it should just go through all the VMs. I wanted to however highlight what would happen if you had forgotten to run the first step which is to move the Diego database from three down to one. I apologize for that skip. We are in the process of rewriting this, so it looks a little better. Nonetheless, when going from three to one, if you have forgotten to do this and your manifest was being deployed with three Diego database VMs, along with three active Diego database VMs, you'll hit a very specific failure. Now that failure is going to be, let me scroll up here. It gets through the first three MySQL and then fails in the first Diego database. The failing job, BBS, is specifically trying to use the BBS locket layer to gossip between the other VMs to make sure that everybody has the same database. One of the cool parts, however, about the Diego database is that every time you recreate a new one, it recreates from the MySQL database and not from other Diego databases. This one does not suffer the same need for preservation that the MySQL database cluster did have, which would allow, caused us to have to do the hard CA rotation. With that being said, after you encounter that error, you'll have to vim the CF manifest. So to take a look here, vim that manifest, search for BBS, and you'll see here instances three. We would take this and turn it to instances one and save it then kick off the deploy again. When you kick off the deploy again, it'll make its way through, delete the two Diego databases that are unnecessary, update the third requisite database, and then proceed through the rest of the VMs. You then go back to your hard CA rotation in which you will be doing an apply change. This last apply change, if you have not updated this, leave it at three. If you did update this to one at the beginning, you'll set it back to three. You'll click save, and then you'll run an apply change. This apply change will go through, create the missing Diego databases, and then proceed through the rest of the databases, well, the rest of the VMs in entirety. You'll have a certificate output that looks like this. So this would have been CA2, the second CA uh, of a rotation, or the one that we generated at the beginning of this rotation. This would be the NATS that was associated with it. You should have only one NATS in this output here. If you experience any other complications or if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to support. We are here to assist. Have a wonderful day and thank you for choosing VMware.